Hey guys, it's Ashley and this is going to be my labor and delivery video. So, let's get started. <laughs> um, it all started on June 11th. Um, I had a doctor's appointment that day. It was supposed to be my 40 week checkup, but I believe that was like a Tuesday. So I was a couple days early uh, for my, was it? I don't know, maybe it wasn't my 40 week. It was like 39. I don't know. Anyways, I had a doctor's appointment and the doctor's was like at 2.55 and um, it was with a different doctor so she kind of just talked to me and got to know me and everything and um, I was talking about my pregnancy and all that stuff and um, gave me another like that little test they take to make sure there's no like infection thing that the baby can get when they come out and um, she offered to do a membrane sweep for me which she did because I was like yeah if it'll help like why not because I've been to the hospital so many times for fake labor I guess is what I call it. So I was like, yeah, I would love to have her already. So she did that, and I was surprised. Everyone said it would like it hurt a little bit, and it was like uncomfortable. But it wasn't like it didn't hurt me, and it wasn't uncomfortable. It just kind of felt weird. Maybe it was because I was like already four centimeters dilated, and it was just like open. I don't know. It was just it just felt weird to me. It was just kind of awkward. So yeah, she did a membrane sweep, and I just went. She told me to go straight home because um, a lot of people after like they have a membrane sweep they end up going into labor and she's like you just shouldn't be out by yourself anyways as it is for how pregnant you are so go home so that's what I did <laughs> and my contraction started around four and I didn't think anything of it because it was like just cramping it wasn't like real contractions and then closer to 4 15 4 30 ish they got stronger and I was just like oh okay and um didn't really think anything of it she kind of told my boyfriend and my mom like hey this is how I'm feeling blah keep your phone by you <laughs> and so I started recording them they got stronger and I started recording them at um five until six thirty and I call it labor and delivery I had my mom do it they told me not to come in unless I really felt like I needed to because they didn't want to send me home again and I was like duh um but they ended up getting stronger <laughs> so I think I left at like 6 45 to go and um we got there at about seven something they put me in triage they checked me all that crap hooked up to those stupid monitors that I hate so much and um, I was still at four when I got there, which I felt was impossible how strong those contractions were. So they're like, oh, we'll just monitor you for like another hour and a half to two hours and come back and check you. And if you progress, we'll check you in. And if not, then you get to go home. And um, I ended up asking them, like, if I am progressed even just a little bit, like, would they help it along by anything, like another membrane sweep, just anything just to help it because I'm tired of coming back here and I'm ready to have her. And the doctor, she just like kind of mean. She was like, no, we don't do anything to help you because you're not overdue and you have to do it on your own type of thing. And I was like, okay, whatever. But I was in pain, so I just kind of shut up and didn't say anything to her. But that really annoyed me. Um, so she came back, checked me at about like 8.45ish, and I was still 4 centimeters, which sucked. So they sent me home at about 9 with some Vicodin and told me to rest and do all this other crap. And... I was just so annoyed. I don't think I talked to anyone the whole way home or once I got home. But uh, my contractions did continue at pretty much um, the same pace that they were before. They didn't really like change or anything for a while. So I just kind of kept walking, drinking water, trying to relax. I put heat on my back. I took a shower, got a back rub, all that stuff didn't help. But eventually they kind of subsided and um, I was able to sleep. And the next day, June 12th, I woke up early that day because I was still kind of having stomach cramping and just feeling really uncomfortable. And I think my boyfriend had just left. Yeah, he left early that morning at like 6. So I woke up at like 8. And I'm just laying in bed texting him and my mom because she went to work and just kind of telling him how I felt and stuff like that. Like about my contractions and everything. So I was like, oh, I feel icky, kind of crampy. And as I am laying in bed texting them, my I feel like a popping sensation kind of like I don't know if you've ever had like like your bone pop like in your knee or your hip or your elbow or anything like that but it really felt and kind of sounded like that but just like in my vagina and it was just like a pressure kind of thing too it was really weird um and I was like what in the hell and so I was like laying there and I just felt like I shouldn't get up for a minute so I didn't and I just laid there for a second like in disbelief like what the fuck was that and um and then I stood up and I just felt like a gush type of thing. It was really gross. It wasn't like, okay, when I say gush, it sounds kind of gross, like freaking Niagara Falls or something. But it wasn't. It was just like a, like a, like a gush. I don't know. Whatever. It was a gush. Hopefully you girls understand what I'm saying. It was just a gush and it was gross. Um, and so I went to the bathroom and I looked and in my mind, I looked and it was just like this 
clear liquidy type stuff but then it was also kind of bloody but I think that was from me being checked as well because I was bleeding from them checking me so I think that just was part of it as well and so I'm like sitting there in the bathroom like in disbelief like did my water just break and I texted my boyfriend like uh I think my water just broke and I texted my mom saying the same thing and they both texted me like what do you mean you think and I just I don't know I wasn't sure I didn't know what it should look like if it should look like that or if it was just me hoping it was or what so um yeah I just kind of sat there for a while honestly and I wasn't having contractions right away so I just sat there and hope that it got better and I was really confused I ended up telling my sister and my mom is or my sister as well and she brought me like clothes stuff and I was kind of sitting there just deciding what to do I guess it was weird I really sat there for a long time I think I was just in disbelief and didn't know what to do because it was just my dad and my sister and they are no help um so my mom ended up calling me and she was like you need to call labor and delivery and talk to them and see what they say and um if they want you to come in so they can check you and stuff so I call labor and delivery and the lady is talking to me and she had to be like the most ridiculous person I've ever had to talk to on the phone she like um asked me what my name was what my medical number was and I literally had to tell her about 15 times what both of those were and she kept calling me Amanda and I'm like um no my name is Ashley and it was just ridiculous like I was like really I'm so glad I'm not in pain right now because I'd be pissed um so yeah and then she ends up like putting me on hold for like five six minutes and comes back to the phone and was like um we're busy right now can I can we have a nurse call you back and I was like uh yeah sure why not because I wasn't having contractions still and then I started having contractions super bad so we leave and um get to the hospital at about 10 30 ish around there 10 30 yeah 10 15 10 30 ish I guess and um when I get there they do all the normal stuff I was in so so much pain my dad my boyfriend came back over and um my sister and him drove together to the hospital and I rode with my dad to the hospital and like the whole way I was just so irritable I was being so mean I was in so much pain I couldn't walk like I could barely walk I was walking so slow and um when we finally get there there's like no freaking parking which was terrible so we had to park on the third floor of the parking garage what are you doing baby I had to park on the third floor She can't get comfortable sorry I had to park on the third floor of the parking garage and as I'm like getting out of the car and walking to go to the elevator on the top floor I'm like oh my god I feel nauseous and I literally stop and it's like spit up and I'm like okay I'm fine and as I'm way down the elevator I literally throw up twice and end up just being so irritated that I walk down the stairs <laughs> to all the stairs it was like three four flights of stairs that I had to walk down and walk to the thing I mean, my boyfriend's like trying to wheel me in a wheelchair and like it's like cobbly stone stuff to get to the hospital and it was just irritating me so bad and I'm like walking in there I was just a really mean person honestly while I was in labor um so yeah once we get there they check me in and they put me in triage again and I'm like oh my god are you serious I said my water broke and you're gonna put me in triage and check me like why wouldn't you put me in a room and see it like what the hell but um so yeah, put me in triage and then this little Asian lady that was a nurse, she was really nice but I was really mean to her. I couldn't help it though, I was in so much pain. Um, she helps me out and then she like looks and she's like, oh my god, okay, your water did break. And she takes me and puts me in a room like right away and she was just, she was really nice. I was being really mean to her and I kind of regret it but she understood. Um, so yeah, they put me in a room like right away. They had all the doctors come in, I had all my stuff hooked up and they like literally did everything they would do in triage in the labor and delivery room for me. And um doctor came in and checked me and when I got there I was at four and I was a really mean person I was cussing at everybody I didn't want anyone to touch me like I kept telling the nurses that were in the room talking to shut up I was like don't look at me like I was just so mean and I guess it's kind of funny to look back on but I was pissed like I didn't want anyone to touch me I didn't want you to talk to me I didn't want you to look at me nothing and like the nurse she kind of like wouldn't shut up when I told her to shut up like when I'm in pain I don't like to be talked to I don't like to be touched I don't like to be looked at I don't know why I just don't like it and she would like keep like she would joke about it like oh she want me to talk to her who's gonna help her oh, she want me to touch her who's gonna help her and I'm like just shut the f up for five seconds. So basically this 
after that everything went super fast once I was in um, the doctor one that I seen before she was one that ended up delivering Kai she came in and was talking to me and um, getting everything ready so I want to say I was like in the room with an IV in my arm for fluid and everything at like 1130 ish and I got my epidural at 1132 um, the doctor came back at cause she was delivering three other baby, two of the babies at the same time that I was in labor so we were all pretty much at the same point kind of um, when she left my room and I was forced to meet with me and two other women were at the same point and when she came back at about well, well, it was more like one. Yeah, more closer to one. I was 10 centimeters and Kai was right there. So, um, she she went to check me for check to see how many centimeters I was and she literally just like touched me. She was like, okay, never mind. You are ready to go. Let's, um, let's do this. And she got the nurse again and they were like, let's do some practice pushes. And, um, when they, I literally did one practice push and she was like okay just kidding no practice pushes she's ready to come out so I didn't even get to practice really I was like getting ready to push and she was like don't do that don't 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 it made me stop so yeah um it was really weird because once they kind of once I got my epidural I became a really nice person I was like laughing and smiling and just in a much better place and I could feel like I couldn't tell when I needed to push but like the doctor said something again would make me laugh and I could feel her like move out a little like or move down more that pressure that you could feel like when you're pushing I felt that every time I laughed which was really crazy but I got her out in three pushes and she was born June 12th at 1 49 p.m. and she was six pounds and seven ounces and 20, 19 and a half inches long and just perfect she was just the cutest baby I've ever seen it's like the best thing in the whole world to me um but yeah that freaking my labor was something crazy but the delivery was so easy and it was the best I just I don't know I love her it was perfect and all the pain was worth it so that is my story um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I tried to keep it as detailed as possible, but it was really hard to keep um, everything all together and to um, remember everything. But I tried to have someone write it down as soon as it happened and everything. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you guys let me know and comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!